Well, Coldwater is no stranger to week 14. This marks the Cavs' sixth straight state semis appearance and their 12th in school history. Even though the program is used to getting to this point in the season, the seniors aren't taking for granted the final tournament run of their high school careers. It feels great getting back to state. I mean, I've been used to it since freshman year, so senior year it's a lot better, I'd say. It just feels normal. I'm just used to doing it, but it feels good to be back, definitely. You know, those senior guys don't want, don't want this to end, so, so for, you always got a new uh, senior group that, that it's really special for them. Um, and they know this is their last guarantee and, and want to get to that uh, finals. Last week, the Cavs defeated Liberty Benton 28-7 to capture the Region 16 title. Brody Hoyne and the offense used quick strikes to build a lead, and the defense did well to shut down a previously unbeaten Eagles team. That was a heck of a battle. Two, two good teams and kind of interesting, uh, very, very different uh, styles. You know, ground and pound team and tried to hog the ball, which they did 10 minutes the first quarter. And we made a few adjustments in the, in the, in the, uh, as, we, as the game went on defensively to, to just, just make smarter plays and, and, and offensively. When you only get the ball, you know, for, for a few minutes, you gotta, gotta make something happen. Next up is another undefeated Eagles squad in Cincinnati Hills Christian Academy. But that's where the similarities between last week and this week end. Coldwater has a completely different defensive game plan against CHCA. They're definitely a good team. A lot different from last week in Liberty Benton because they uh, like to pass the ball, spread offense. So defense will be a lot different, but offense just needs to keep doing their thing. It's a huge different style. Um, they're, they're more like a Kenton offense almost with, with a lot of uh, empty, no back stuff. Um, try to, pr try to, you know, they, they bank on making big plays. And, and so if we can prevent those big, long plays and, and uh, outwork them. Definitely being disciplined and just fighting the pressure. It's more of a pass down. Offensively, Coldwater has found a nice groove, averaging over 40 points a game in the last month and a half and getting production from all over the field. A lot of guys have been stepping up both offensively and defensively, so we just got to keep that going for the next two games, hopefully. Offensively, we, have, we try to spread the wealth. You know, get, get, get guys, and I know Brody gets, gets so much of the focus, but, but those other guys are good enough that, that uh, you know, Craig Shane here had five catches for 100 and some yards, and sometimes it's Derek and sometimes it's Aaron. And, and sometimes it's Petey, so, so we have five, six guys who can really make some plays. Almost all of those playmakers were also a part of the state championship baseball team that defeated Cincinnati Hills Christian Academy in the finals last spring. Not that it's needed, but that adds a little more flavor to Saturday's matchup. In Coldwater, I'm Matt Finkel for the Sports Report.